inside our index view, what we can do is we can add a button here to create a category. So if we go back to our index, let me add a little bit of more designing with Bootstrap. We will add a div, give it a class of container and padding of three. These are just the Bootstrap classes. In there, we will add a div, give it a class of row and padding top of four. Let me add test here, save that and go back. That will create a new row right here. I want to divide this row into two parts. By default, Bootstrap divides each row into 12 parts if we want. But if we just want to divide it in two parts, then we will have six in one and six in the other. So here we will add a div, give it a class of column six. That will combine the first six in one div and we will add another div, give it a class of column six. So that will divide the screen in two parts. The first one we want to display and heading. So H2, give it a class of text primary. And we want to display category list here. Let me save this, go back and refresh and looks good. Let me close this container at the very end. So we'll close that div at the end. And right here, we want to add a button. Right here, we want to add a link. Inside there, we want to go to a new action method that we will create inside the category controller. That will be for creating a new category. So right here, we will say that should go to the same controller, which is the category controller, and it should go to an action method, which will be create. We do not have that yet, but we will create that in the next video. We can also add a couple of bootstrap classes, btn, btn primary, and here we can say create new category. Let me save this, go back and refresh, and we have our button. Let's align this button on the right hand side. In bootstrap 5, we have text end. We will save that, and that will bring it to the right side. Then let me just leave a couple of lines here. I can just add few BR tags. And this looks much better. Now I also want to use some icons here like Font Awesome. But with Bootstrap 5, they have given their own sets of icons. So why don't we use that? If you go to getbootstrap.com, we have the icons tab. Getting started with all of these icons is super simple. I used to like Font Awesome, but you had to register and do lots of things. This is available quickly. You just click the install button and you have the CDN. You copy that, go to the underscore layout, styles, we will paste the CDN. With that, the icons are readily available to use. Let's go back to the bootstrap. And right here, let me search for plus. If you scroll down, we have this plus circle. If you click there, we have the link here. We will copy and we just paste it before create category. Let me add a space. Let's save that. And you will see the icons are working perfectly. Super easy to get started. With that, we have added icons. But if you click the create new category, you will see page not found. That is because it is going inside category controller create action method. But inside category, there is no action method with the name of create. So let's add that in the next video.